Oh, hey, honey. Um, Santa came and brought me Star Wars Episode Nine Wave Two action figures. Baby, it's not even December yet. Yeah, but he, he came and he brought me. Uh, if you want Star Wars toys, you should just buy them. You don't have to say Santa. I'll come for you. Okay. That looks like I'm gonna have to review these. Hello. If you're enjoying this content, hit that subscribe button. Join us. All right, yes, it's Comic Artist Pro Secrets. Happy holidays, everyone. I'm Ethan Van Skyver, 26 year veteran of the comic book industry, world's most charming, elegant, eloquent, and yet humble man. Great big Star Wars fan and a good boy this year. That's why Santa Claus uh, brought me this. Uh, what is this? Hasbro action figures. Star Wars Episode Nine Vintage Figure Assortment. Uh, eight pieces. I already opened this thing up. Uh, it came with, uh, I knew it came with two Jawas, so I gave one Jawa away to my three-year-old daughter. The rest of these are probably going to go in the in the garbage. All right, let's dump this out and see what we get. Eh, all right. We got uh, a Shadow Trooper. We got another Jawa. We got another Shadow Trooper. And a bunch of stuff that fell here on the floor. All right, let's see what else. We get, oh, this is nice. A beautiful Princess Leia Organa. Organa. Organic. Uh, and then we've got a Knight of Ren. And we got a Sith Trooper. Boy, I don't want any of these. And another Sith Trooper. Let's double down on the Sith Troopers. Look, I got into Mommy's lipstick. Oh, boy. All right, so let's go through these one by one. Oh, my God. Garbage man's going to be thrilled. Uh, all right, so we've got the Sith Trooper. Now, of course, the Sith Trooper is famous uh, because the Sith Trooper was the first thing uh, that demonstrated that as of Star Wars Episode Nine, Lucasfilm still had not stopped lying. Uh, a poster was leaked to the Internet, and it looked pretty genuine. It looked pretty genuine. It was like, hey, this is a Episode Nine poster, and Lucasfilm said, no, it's not. And Mark Hamill said, no, it looks like the work of a very devoted and dedicated fan. It's not real. Uh, and what was interesting is on the poster, before anyone knew, was a whole fleet of these red Sith Troopers. And we thought that was peculiar uh, as the fandom menace. Uh, now, they denied, they denied, and they denied. And it turns out that that was indeed a real poster that had leaked, and Lucasfilm was caught lying again. Uh, so it's nice to have two of these guys, two action figures that I don't want. Um, it's like the parent trap. Look at him. Can you tell them? No, it's like the Patty Duke show. Um, hot dog driving wild. Uh, all right, so how did the Patty Duke show theme go? I can't remember. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's look at the back of this. Uh, we've got a whole arrangement. Now, this is, the this is I guess, wave two. I don't know what this is. Well, if I don't have these. I guess this is wave uh, one, and we're going to get... If we, or maybe this is wave three, I'm not really sure. But if we get it, apparently we're going to get a Sith Jet Trooper. Okay, it's the same thing as this, except he's got a jetpack. Uh, we're going to get Zoran Bliss. Uh, rumor is this is Skywalker. This is Luke Skywalker's daughter. Uh, we're going to get another Poe Dameron figure. We're going to get another Ray figure. This is going right in the garbage. And then we're going to get one decent figure here. That's the Luke Skywalker X Wing pilot. Uh, but as usual, Hasbro lately is, um, I don't know what they're doing. They're applying paint to the faces of these figures as though uh, they're about to go on uh, a silent movie in the 1920s. A lot of heavy lipstick, a lot of uh, weird, weird uh, choices in paint. We'll see that in a little while. So this is a Sith Trooper. Let's open this guy here. All right, comes with this uh, direction pamphlet here. What in the world do I need directions for? Uh, all right. It says uh, small parts. Warning, warning, China. Yeah. All right. Here's our guy. All right. So his head does this. Are you feeling tense? Just work it out. Work it out in the shoulders. He does this because you want your stormtroopers to be able to do a split. You want your Sith troopers to be very flexible. Come on now. You've got Swan Lake. You can do it. 
work it out. Um, yeah, you know, typical. It's the uh, it's it's made of this part of them is made of that bendy plastic, that cheap bendy plastic uh, that I always complain about. And uh, I don't know, he's got a blaster uh, with uh, red on it. It's a blaster with red on it, see, uh, as you can see. Um, yeah, put this in his hand. Uh, now listen, I've got a hundred Rose Tico action figures that I'm sure would love to meet you, um, but uh, I need you to behave yourself around Rose, okay? She's spoken for. You stay right there. Let's open your brother. Uh, do I want to open this one too? Uh, uh, wait, how come this one? How come this one comes with a rifle? Did I lose the rifle somewhere? This one's got a big rifle. I must have lost it. It must have flown out of the pack. We better open this one too. Yeah, look, it fell. It fell right out as soon as I opened it. So that's probably the problem. Probably fell out somewhere. It's probably on my floor. All right, very good. Redundancy, redundancy. Because they're not real. They're not. They're not real Star Wars. All right. So over here we have more fake stormtroopers. We got the shadow trooper. This is blasphemy right here. I mean, it really is. You know, it's blasphemy. Don't put this here, on this. God Almighty. All right. And we get two of these too. We got two of these. Uh, at least they're kind of cool. I mean, they're better. I don't like the red Sith Troopers. I think those are weird. Uh, these are a little bit better. Let me see. Alright. I think I just... Oh, yeah, the gun fell out right in here. So he's got a big, long rifle. Uh, yeah. Just go right in your hand. No, never, no nothing ever fits with these toys. Maybe it goes in this hand. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Stick him up. And then he's got a hand blaster right here. Hold on. Alright. Nice hand blaster. Okay. As long as you're not compensating for anything, uh, Mr. Shadow Trooper. Uh, his uh, he's pigeon toed, which is sad. They tried to buy him corrective shoes, but it didn't work. So he kind of just does this when he walks. Uh, nice. We get an extra one of these. I'm not going to bother to open it. Uh, I'm just going to throw it as hard as I can at the floor. All right. Now we've got uh, one of the Knights of Ren. It's a it's a Knight of Ren. A whole night of Ren. How wonderful. Uh, everybody's wondering about these characters. They probably should have made themselves known way back in The Force Awakens, back when people had limitless patience and were actually interested in Star Wars. Uh, only now, evidently, are they going to appear in the movie. What kind of beta, uh, what kind of weirdo, uh, what kind of fool uh, would follow the cult of Kylo Ren? I mean, any one of these guys probably could overtake Kylo Ren kick his ass, give him a beating, uh, give him a swirly, a wedgie, make him cry, uh, and then take over, right? I mean, uh, theoretically, a Knight of Ren uh, should be able to... I mean, this guy's way tougher looking. This guy's way tougher looking than Kylo Ren. What, just because Kylo Ren has temper tantrums with a lightsaber? So what, dude? Put that into play. I don't know what this is, but, you know, shove it up him, you know, and then tell him, uh, you know, tell him to calm down. Tell him to settle in, uh, Knight of Ren. Uh, all right, let's open this. I, I honestly, this is another figure that I just couldn't care less about. I couldn't possibly care less about the Knights of Ren. I just broke it. His axe just flew right off the. All I did was pull this out, and the, it broke right in half. I was very careful. You guys saw me. You guys saw me being careful about this. Now he's just got a bow staff. He's got. You can't. You cannot stage a coup against Kylo Ren with just a bow staff. Or maybe you can. I don't know. Look at him. Look at him. No, please don't. No, don't wake me up. I'm sleeping. Don't give me a... Wake up. All right, so let's see. He's got a nice headdress. Oh, it's lovely. Lovely uh, chiffon scarf. Oh, that looks fetching. 
that looks great. He's uh, got some kind of an ascot here. Uh, and uh, boy, I'll tell you, he's ready, ready for the catwalk. He's re this guy's ready for the catwalk. Here's your stick. The axe handle fell off. Uh, I'm gonna call Hasbro and get a replacement. I'm gonna say, you know what? The axe handle fell off uh, this Knight of Ren. Please replace it. Uh, I don't know. This looks like a GI Joe to me in a way. Uh, these look a lot more like GI Joes than the other ones did. They've got the hip swivels now, so that. I don't want my dudes... What is this? Why do they have to spread their legs? I don't want my Knights of Ren uh, to be able to uh, go spread-eagled. I don't think that's necessary. I like it when they're just able to sit down. And these guys don't sit... Look at this. They don't sit... Their entire body bends rather... Oh, sh... I wasn't even playing with them that hard. How garbage. Just pure, pure garbage. I mean, you got to be kidding me! All right, so we got a uh, we got a Jawa here. Now, like I said, uh, this comes with two Jawas. I love Jawas. I like the Jawas. I'm interested in having a Jawa figure, and if this is of good quality, I'll probably keep this one. It's okay that these two individuals. It's okay that they're pictured on the packaging. They belong there. Now, is this an off-worlder Jawa or is this a Jawa? Doesn't really say, but this makes me think that it's a Tatooine Jawa, just because it says Jawa. All right. Doesn't matter. He's like, I'm a citizen of the universe. I'm a citizen of the galaxy. It doesn't matter. Uh, the world, the universe is my world. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I don't like that off-world or Jawa thing. I don't like it either. I think it's racist. All right, here we go. He looks good. Oh, you look good, Jawa. You look good. It's cheap. Like this is the thing. Like they've they've added a lot of hinges to these toys. They're a lot more poseable. Oh, for fuck. You just twist his head to the side, it comes right off. All right, so he's got this here. He's looking good. Uh, are you wearing underpants? Are you wearing underpants? Uh, a little upskirt Jawa action there. He looks okay. Uh, all right. Here's him when it's cold out. And I guess we'll put that we'll put that in his hand. And uh, here's him. Here's him after he rubs it a little bit. And I think this goes uh, right here in his holster. I think it goes like right there. Yeah, that's looking good. Uh, yeah, good. I like him. Ugh. His head does not turn without breaking off. Okay, we've got some problems. Uh, but yeah, for those of you who really like extra hinges, uh, you really like your characters to be more poseable. Uh, you know, I guess you're going to be happy with this new line of vintage Star Wars toys because, yeah, they are. They're much more poseable. Uh, I like this guy. Uh, he's going to stay in my collection. You're you're going to... You may live. You may live. I'll place you right here. Get this out of here. Uh, all right. So you... All right. You go over here. Let's go. Let's look at this. I guess this is going to be the prize of the, of the set. Of course, there was only one of these per crate. You get eight toys... I think three of them are doubles. Three of them are redundant, and uh, you you know you get uh, yeah you get a Princess Leia Organa. Now I just want you to look here. I mean, first of all, yeah, obviously this is okay. You want to leave that on the package. She she deserves it. Look at the face here. Look at the beautiful grace and smile of Carrie Fisher. You know, awarding. You know, she's awarding Luke and Han and Chewie. Uh, she's proud of them and their accomplishments. This is award. Uh, ceremony, Princess Leia. Now I want you to see what they did, what these sculptors did. Look what they did. They massacred my boy. Look at this. What is that? Don't you tell me to smile. Don't tell me to smile. What on earth is going on here with this? What is this face? What is this? Look at it. What is up with the eye shadow? It's brown. They look like hollow, empty eye sockets. She looks miserable. She looks like Vampira. Oh, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Right, open this. Now, ordinarily, you know, you would want this toy, right? You would want it. You'd be like, oh yeah, a Princess Leia, of course. It's a nice. Uh, it's it's the one female action figure from Star Wars that I do actually want. But look what they did to her. Look at that. First, oh. Oh, that is a man. That looks like Han Solo. That looks like they took Harrison Ford and put a wig on him. Look at that. Now, other than that, I must say the figure is uh, dressed quite nicely. Other than the fact that this is clearly a man's head, 
Uh, they put it on a fetching female body. Uh, I do like the, look at the, the nice uh, ponytail. I got a ponytail. I got a ponytail. They got everything here. It's like a nice braid. Uh, and over here, she comes with a major award. Uh, and you can choke her with this. That's what Jabba the Hutt would do. You choke her with... Uh, eh. Alright, don't do that. Don't do that. It's not nice. It's very misogynistic. Uh, I like this uh, nice little... Um, what is this? What would you call this? This nice little thing uh, that she's in. It's nice. It's a nice little piece of uh, tissue. You can wrap her up in it when it's cold out. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't understand why they couldn't make her look pretty. I don't understand why they couldn't make her smile. She looks like uh, she looks like she's waiting in line at the DMV. This is a hard, uh, hardened, cruel Princess Leia. Uh, this is a Princess Leia that has seen the future of Star Wars in the hands of Disney. Uh, now, the question is, do I keep this or do I throw it across the room? The question is, do I keep this or do I hit it with a baseball bat into the woods behind my house? Uh, what do I do? Now, uh, at this point, I'm thinking I might keep this one just because of its uh, legacy, because this is, of course, classic Star Wars. But I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with this face at all. Could have been better. And I'm not happy with the, look at the lipstick, that dark. Ugh. It's like, stay away from me. Stay away from me. Uh, I couldn't, uh, I don't know. I could complain some more, but it's a toy. I'll probably keep this one. So out of this whole crate, uh, we have two winners. Uh, we've got a Jawa that's too big, uh, and we've got, like, well, to scale, the Jawa's way too big. And then we've got this Princess Leia, uh, which is a little bit frightening looking in the face, a little bit terrifying. Uh, she looks like Michael Landon. I mean, this is, this is a little bit messed up. Uh, but I will, uh, I will keep these two figures, and I will add them uh, to my collection, which I basically just dump on the floor for Ava to play with anyway. All right. Hope you like this video. Are you going to go buy these toys? <laughs> <laughs> I already know the answer. Why? Santa, I'm so sorry, but next time, please, uh, you know, uh, hot toys, sideshow toys uh, is a better bet. And only get me the uh, original trilogy stuff. That's the stuff that I want. A Boba Fett, an Emperor Palpatine uh, would be nice. Maybe the new Storm, not the new Stormtrooper, but the new version of the old Stormtrooper. Uh, I will take one of those. Uh, these are, uh, I don't know. These are, these just, uh, are these stocking stuffers? No, they're garbage can stuffers. Thanks, everyone. Subscribe. Uh, ring the bell for notifications. I'll be back with... Uh, we're going to open the Lego Advent Calendar, too. We're going to spoil that whole thing. It's going to be a nightmare. Happy holidays. Hello. <laughs> hey, I got a P.O. Box. Want to send me some mail? Send it to Ethan Van Skyver. P.O. Box 607, Marlton, New Jersey, 08053. And I'll probably open it up on the live stream. Thanks very much, everyone. Hey, you want to follow me on Twitter? Are you sure? Well, if so, I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. That's at Ethan Van Skyver. See you there.